we are dealing with lines inside of triangles. Um, let's go after an angle bisector. We're going to cut an angle in half. Da, 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 da. Well, bisector. How do you bisect stuff? Well, you need two same size circles. So I want to put them on this angle so that I can cut it in half. But I got to put it on something 70. So I got to put it on a line. So let's uh, pick. Uh, yeah, let's just make it two. I don't know. Wow, two's kind of big. Um, let's do it again. Boom, two. But that was kind of arbitrary, wasn't it? I could, you know, you know kind of put D kind of anywhere. I could put E kind of anywhere. So that doesn't make any sense. So I probably got to start with something else that says where to put them. So start with another circle. Well, let's first of all, let's get rid of D and E. And this other circle needs to be on A, but it can be any size. It's just trying to line things up. So we just got to put it somewhere here. Any size you want. Any size you can work with. Um, and that's just lining things up. And I need to know where that circle is crossing each side. So it's crossing at D and crossing at D. Now that's where I want to put those two circles. You know, as I move them out, they kind of move together. That's where I want to put the new two circles. Now I gotta make these things twins. These two have to be twins. No relation to circle A. But these two have to be twins. Um let's make them small. Let's make them size one. Yeah. I don't like one. Let's go two. Alrighty. Um, find where those two circles cross each other. And draw a wonderful line. Let's draw a line through there. A uh, line through there. And notice where that line goes through. It goes through A. No matter what I do to this, that line always goes through A. No matter how big I make that first circle, that line is always going through A. I didn't make it through A. I made it through G and F. It's going through A. Now, it should be a bisector because I made the, the twins the same size. So let's measure it. Uh, let's go E, A, F, 38.26, and D, A. Uh, I just did this the wrong way, didn't I? Yes, I did. F, A, D, I can't really read that, but look over here on the side. 3826, 3826. So, that's your bisector. Start with one circle on A to line things up. Where that one circle crosses the sides that make up the angle, points D and E, make twin circles. Make sure those twin circles cross. And then connect the two intersections the two points of intersection for the two twin circles, F to G, and that will go through A. That will go through your side. That is an angle bisector. Now, does that do anything else? Well, those two angles are the same. I'm looking at congruent triangle things here. B and C, they're not the same, and these two are supplementary. I do wonder something. Let's see here. Does this create anything with triangles? All right, so we did B, H, F, H, C. Nah, nothing's going to be the same, right? Okay. Do, 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 do. I was wondering, B and C are going to be something really funky. So, yep, not congruent triangles. Oh, where did I go? I didn't get me measure angle. All right. Just investigating. 58, and I did it again. Yeah, not congruent. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the triangles add up to 180. 
and I start with 3826 and 3826 on both triangles, but then the other two angles are just uh, something that adds up to 180. So that's angle bisector.